Alright, this video is for you guys out there that are throwing your money away for expensive pH buffer. Uh, basically, what you want to use is um, soda ash, which is uh, sodium carbonate. And basically, baking soda is let's see if I can find it and show you what it is um, there active ingredient sodium bicarbonate which is a hundred percent but we want it to be sodium carbonate because the bicarbonate actually lowers the pH in a reef tank. So all you got to do is take this stuff right here, pour it in a dish, something that's bakeable, and we're going to bake the baking soda. And it'll become soda ash. And that will be able to be used... Um, for a two part part of a two part mix you could uh dose uh calcium chloride and then use this as your alkalinity portion of it and then you'll have a two part setup and uh it saves you a lot of money it's a buck for basically a dollar fifty for one of these and you've got virtually endless I usually bake up a whole one of these, and these usually last a good long time. Um, I think like four tablespoons per per 50 gallons will raise your alkalinity by approximately 2 dKH. Um, so it goes a long ways, you know, so you won't have to screw with it. You can also make up a regular a mixture. You don't have to keep it in powder form. You can just mix some up with some RO water. Got some there. And uh, just add it into a gallon. And there's reef calculators that you can use on bulk reef supply and things like that. Or you can get the hang of it. You'll figure out, you know, where the sweet spot is, how much to add. And then you can hook it up to dosing pumps and things like that. And then automatically maintain your alkalinity uh the ph yeah so basically the difference between the bicarbonate and the, and the carbonate is one will slightly lower your ph and one will slightly raise it um you don't want to lower your ph in a reef tank at all really and uh don't overdo it just take your time i wouldn't go over I wouldn't raise it more than one DKH in one 24-hour period. So that approximately two tablespoons of soda ash or baking soda in one 24-hour period and never add the powder directly to the tank. You want to mix it with RO water and make sure it fully dissolves. Hot water, actually, if you heat it up, it will uh, 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 dissolve faster in the water. But uh, you want to make sure it's all dissolved, and then you want to slowly add it to a high circulated, uh, circulated area, like right at the head of a power head or something, so that it disperses to the tank nice and evenly, and it's not concentrated on one certain area. Um, but basically, yeah, it's really simple. So pH buffer, quit throwing your money away. This is the best way to do it, basically. It's 100% pure. You can see it's 100% pure. Uh, sodium bicarbonate right there, 100%. So, yeah, also works for many other things if you need it, you know, neutralizing acid and things like that. So, anyways, thanks for watching.